Welcome to this video describing a novel abdominal pelvic packing simulation created for OBGYN surgeons. In this video, our objectives are to 1. Describe why OBGYN surgeons should be familiar with abdominal pelvic packing and its use in the setting of placenta accretus spectrum. 2. Introduce our simulation as an effective teaching tool for trainees and surgeons learning to perform pelvic packing. And 3. Describe and model our simulation so the viewers are prepared to lead the simulation at their own institutions. Patients with placenta accreta spectrum are at high risk of hemorrhage requiring blood product transfusion at the time of delivery and are at elevated risk of subsequent life-threatening complications of massive hemorrhage, such as DIC. In the United States, most deliveries for patients with placenta accreta spectrum occur via, via caesarean hysterectomy. Although diffuse ongoing bleeding due to refractory coagulopathy is not frequently encountered in obstetrical surgery, patients with placenta accreta spectrum undergoing caesarean hysterectomy are at uniquely high risk of this occurrence. Abdominal pelvic packing can be a life-saving tool in management of massive peripartum hemorrhage. Intraoperative or clinical situations in which abdominal pelvic packing should be considered include persistent intraoperative transfusion requirement despite control of arterial bleeding, diffuse venous bleeding, own known or difficult access bleeding sites, frank coagulopathy despite massive transfusion. Abdominal pelvic packing followed by reoperation and abdominal closure in one to three days is an effective, even life-saving technique for temporizing diffuse, uncontrolled surgical hemorrhage. The technique originated in the field of trauma surgery. In this technique, the bowel is protected with a plastic drape before the peritoneal cavity is pressure packed with laparotomy sponges. And finally, adhesive tape and sump drains are used to create negative pressure in the packed space. Providing OBGYN surgeons training in this technique allows for its application in placenta accreta spectrum cases, given the high risk for catastrophic bleeding. Simulation is effective at increasing participant skill and confidence at procedures that are rarely encountered, yet require practice to complete well, and therefore we identified it as a useful tool for teaching abdominal pelvic packing. We devised a low-fidelity, low-cost model to simulate damage control packing for diffuse hemorrhage after peripartum hysterectomy, with the goal to increase OBGYN surgeon's skill and confidence at the technique. When we used the simulation at our institution with residents, resident satisfaction on an internal quality improvement survey was extremely high, and residents reported significantly increased confidence in their ability to perform damage control packing in an emergency. We hope that our simulation will be equally helpful at other institutions. We will now demonstrate our packing simulation. The simulation scenario presented was as follows. A 34-year-old G6P4014 at 32 weeks with suspected severe placenta accreta spectrum presents to the emergency department covered in blood. The individual undergoes emergent cesarean hysterectomy complicated by massive hemorrhage and large cystotomy. The individual receives transfusion with 12 units of packed red blood cells, 12 units of fresh frozen plasma, 12 units of cryoprecipitate, and multiple packs of platelets. Diffuse bleeding from all cut surfaces was noted after bladder repair. We will now demonstrate our pelvic packing simulation. Materials needed are two surgical towels or similarly sized rags, contact paper of standard width cut to 17 inches long to represent an adhesive incisional drape, a scalpel, a clear plastic shower curtain cut into an approximately 32 by 34 inch rectangle representing a polyethylene sheet, two 18 inch lengths of 3 8 inch plastic tubing, with seven inches of three-quarter inch elastic attached to one end of each to represent JP drains. Ten laparotomy sponges or similarly sized rags. Two nylons filled with quilt batting to represent intestines. And a vaginal delivery pelvic model with anterior access to the abdominal cavity. For your pelvic packing simulation, 
you will first need to load your intestines. Peel back the abdominal cavity and place the stuffed nylons inside. For our simulation, we fold back the abdominal flap to better simulate an open abdomen via fan and steel incision. Next, the shower curtain is opened and multiple perforations are made with the scalpel to create a lattice or pie crust effect. This curtain, representing a polyethylene sheet, is then inserted into the abdomen, ensuring that all intestines are covered. Laparotomy towels are then packed into the pelvis, filling up the space and putting pressure on the bleeding surfaces. A surgical towel is then placed over the incision, ensuring that all laparotomy towels are covered. Elastic and tubing representing JP drains are placed on top of the surgical towel. And these are then covered with a second surgical towel. Finally, the contact paper, simulating an adhesive incisional drape, is used to cover the entire incision, making sure that all edges of the towel are included underneath the drape and that the adhesive drape is pinched around the simulated JP drains. This concludes our film describing why OBGYN surgeons should be familiar with abdominal pelvic packing and demonstrating our packing simulation. We hope that viewers share the simulation at their own institutions. Please feel free to reach out to us with any questions or feedback at the email address shown here. Thank you for watching.